Let's build a slime farm in Minecraft 1.19. The first thing we're going to do is go to chunk base link will be in the description if you need it and we're going to go to the slime finder type in our seed and we're going to go ahead and find a slime chunk all of these green squares are slime chunks go ahead and record the coordinates for that chunk and we are good to go with the coordinates now recorded we're going to dig straight down to y level 29 and an easy way to do this is stand in between two blocks and just break them simultaneously that way you don't fall into lava or into a giant cave or anything. And we're going to dig all the way down to Y level 29, just like this. Once you've dug down to level 29, we're going to dig down to level 27. And then we're going to dig over 16 blocks and then over again 16 more to hit up with our second coordinate. So in this case, I need to make my negative 177 into negative 192. So I'm going to start off by digging in this direction until I hit negative 192. And your coordinates are going to be different, but the idea is the exact same. So once I'm at negative 192, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to dig over to 352. So I'm at 367 and then I need to go over to 352. And once I'm there, I'm going to dig out the entire square and then I'm going to dig down some more. So there we go. Now I'm at 352, 192, and this is the entire perimeter of the farm. And now we need to dig out this entire section right here. All right, once you've got everything mined out, this is what it should look like. You should have a 16 by 16 square and it should be a massive room, which we are going to make even more massive by digging down all the way to Y10. Once we're at Y10, we're going to mine out all of this stuff and we need the entire room cleared. Once you've got the entire room cleared out, make sure to fill in any holes like this one in the wall right here or any errors that you made when mining your square. It has to be perfectly flat on the sides of the walls like this one is right here. Right now is a great time to get a ladder up and running. You could also use scaffolding. It is up to you. And you are just going to go in the corner of the farm right here and we're just going to place ladders going all the way up to the surface that way you can get up and down from the farm from the surface the next thing you're going to do is grab some blocks and you should have plenty of those because this is a massive room and you should have plenty of blocks left over so we're going to place a block every four blocks leaving a three block gap in between the different blocks just like so so we should have four different layers like this and we're going to go ahead and fill in the entire platform going all the way across leaving our ladder open and just filling in the entirety of the platform just like so and we're pretty much just rebuilding this layer just like that and we're going to do that for every single one of those blocks right there that each of these blocks is a different layer that we're going to do this for all right we have got a little bit more digging to do and what we're going to do is at the end of the ladder right here just dig down to y level five like so and we're going to hit some deep slate but that is perfectly okay and we're going to dig these four blocks so we want a four block gap from the floor to the ceiling we're going to dig over by five blocks so that is one two three four five just like so and we're going to mine to the end of the chunk so again this is three okay well this is 177 and then we're going to go all the way over to 192 just like so again your chunk coordinates will be different but the idea is the same we're going to mine to the end of the chunk and we're going to clear out all this space we can go ahead and extend the ladder now once you've done that so there we go this is going to be the room where we're going to put the killing chamber and the afk area all right what you want to do now is you want to count over by seven blocks and on the seventh block we are going to place a block so one two three four five six and seven from here we're going to place four more blocks so that is one two three and four bringing the total up to five blocks we should have five blocks over here and we should have six blocks over here unfortunately for my ocd brain these will never be even because we need an odd number of blocks in the middle and a chunk is 16 by 16 so that is quite unfortunate but it is how it is so we're going to go ahead and just fill in this platform with blocks like so break these two blocks and place down a double chest right here with two hoppers running into one another 
This is going to be the storage system for the farm. And we are going to have all of our slime balls stored in here. If you want to add some more space, go ahead and place down a hopper and then another double chest like so. It's super simple and you are going to need a lot of storage because this thing is super efficient. Go ahead and place down a lever on this block, turn it on, place down a block right here and do the same thing over here, a lever, crouch place a block and then turn on the lever like so. Go ahead and place down a powered rail on both of those blocks and we're going to go ahead and connect these up with some normal rails like so just like this connect them up you might have to mess around with it rails are a little stupid sometimes and we're just going to do that there we go and there we go all right so once you've got all of your rails in place go ahead and set down a minecart hopper on one of the powered rails and it should be off in a way and we can go ahead and place down some magma blocks right above that minecart hopper like so so 15 of those and then we're gonna grab some more blocks and place down a rim around the magma blocks just like so that way none of the slimes are gonna get out come up here now and we are gonna do the same thing we're gonna count over by seven one two three four five six seven place down a block and then you can break it just like so and uncover our magma we're gonna do the same thing on every single one of these layers so we're gonna break this block right here don't know why I said it like that. Go ahead and break all of these blocks and do the same thing on every single one of these layers. Three by five and mine out the area. All right, it's really dark in here. I have night vision on, but we've got some zombies. So to combat that, we're gonna place down a torch one block diagonally from the corner there, then three blocks, three blocks, three blocks, three blocks, three blocks, and three blocks, and we can place one in the center right here. And then we can go ahead and kill those zombies. We're gonna do this on every single one of these layers, and that's because slimes can spawn in any light level. So we want this place to be as bright as possible so we don't have any mobs taking up the mob cap. With all of our layers bright now, we're gonna go ahead and put in the snow golems. So to do this, we're going to break these three blocks starting at the same layer as the layer floor, break these three blocks and go ahead and place down two snow, two blocks and then a jack-o-lantern on top or i guess it's a carved pumpkin then go ahead and place a block right here break this block place down a rail place down a minecart chest and then break the rail like so so we need to do this on every single one of these layers and then the farm is ready to go once you've got all of your snowmen in place and all of the minecart chests we are ready to build the afk room so that we've got some slimes in here so what you're going to do is you're going to go to the center of the farm, which is right here. And we're going to dig to the end of our chunk. For me, that is 352. For you, it could be something different. But right here, what we're going to do is we're going to dig past the edge of our chunk by 25 blocks in this direction. And that's going to be where we're actually going to AFK. And on the 25th block, you can mark it or something. This is going to be exactly where you need to stand for the farm to be fully functioning at its maximum efficiency. And you can go ahead and make a nice little room here if you want. I also highly recommend lighting up this little alleyway right here. All right, all that's left to do is sit back and relax and you will get plenty of slime balls while you're AFK. Go eat a sandwich, go outside. I don't really control you. Do whatever you want. Figure out how to spend your time. But when you come back to your computer or whatever you're on, you will get plenty of slime balls from this farm, and then you can do all of your sticky shenanigans. Couldn't have worded that worse, but uh, yeah. All right, I went ahead and made myself a sandwich. I was gone for maybe 15 to 20 minutes tops, and we've already got about, I want to say 14, maybe 15 stacks of slime balls and they're still flowing in relatively consistently and that's because this farm is super OP. I don't even have caves lit up but if you want this farm to be even more efficient you could light up the nearby caves but honestly I don't think you're going to need to do that. This is from 15 to 20 minutes of AFKing. If you AFK for one night then you'll have more than enough slime balls for the entirety of your Minecraft world. But that's going to do it for today's video. If you guys enjoyed it, please do consider smashing that subscribe button and leaving a like. It really would mean the world to me. My name is 1upMC, and I will catch you guys in the next one.